five, four, three, two, one, zero. And the rocket launches. This is the most exciting clamor that I love to hear. Because this sound is about to create history on Earth and in the universe. It stimulates my blood flow. My spirit is all light up. And in this moment, I can be as motivated as I can be to lift off my space career. It took me 17 long years to share this feeling on this wonderful stage. And here I am at the red carpet. So you need to know the mantra of my life. That is, one day I'll be a pioneer in space architecture. So how, so how all of this started? In the year of 2010, I was just a spoiled little girl, like any other teenager. And I could not stop laughing over my jokes. Yes, you heard that right. For hours and hours, I would recall my own jokes, and I would keep laughing. And at the age of 13, I got this amazing opportunity to attend, oops, sorry, to attend NASA Space Academy in Huntsville, Alabama Center. I cannot thank my parents enough for giving away their savings for me to be able to fly to the United States of America. Trust me, it was a dream come true because I was traveling abroad for the first time. But more than that, I was so excited because I will have all the freedom and privacy away from my parents, just like any other teenager wishes for. So what exactly are NASA Space Academy? A NASA Space Academy is a science-backed space training program available for all the students across the globe. Students from all the international schools participate. Some of the modules at NASA includes training like an astronaut, engineering challenges, neutral buoyancy, flying air, air, jet aircraft stimulators, and so and so. It was at NASA that I, I got enlightened about space. For those who do not know, let me tell you, space is just 100 kilometers right from the Earth's surface. Only 465 men and 65 women have been to space. If I compare that population to 7.75 billion people on this planet, here how it looks like. Yes, so space is a big deal. Lesson number one, always dream big, because no matter what, one day you will be there. Recording my journey at NASA, we were given a lot of different challenging tasks, but one of the most fascinating, fascinating was to design something on the lunar base. And guess what? I was the lucky one, because I had the best team. We designed a fuel station thinking that we might run out of the fuel while coming back to the Earth. And we got an award for that. So in that moment, I got vitalized to pursue architecture. But my little creative mind came, came up with a brand new vision, space architect. So what exactly is space architecture? Space architecture is an emerging discipline. It is the practice and theory of building inhabited environments in the outer space. It includes various disciplines, such as sociology, psychology, physiology, combined along with engineering and design. Some of its, the duties of space architect includes rover and prop design, lunar and Mars-based design, mission analysis, spacecraft designing, and so and so. But let me tell you, above all, the most interesting and the most challenging task of a space architect is to keep the crew and the astronauts safe when they are aboard. One of the most prominent example, existing example of space architecture is International Space Station. Space is a very challenging place to live because there are a lot of factors that we have to consider. For example, no gravity or reduced gravity, atmosphere, temperature, pressure difference, radiation, and so and so. I'm going to show you some amazing things, but before that, I want to show you something more. So how do I reach here? Well, I was studying in university, 
This is how I used to go to my school because I didn't have money to buy a two-way bus ticket every day to go. So I will have my luggage on my bike and then I will stay in my university for a month studying my double bachelor's degree, sleep in the libraries. And you can see I've lost a lot of my muscle mass here. So yes. Now, moving on to the next. So at the International Space Station, you can have a Pizza Hut pizza and poop in a $23 million toilet. That's quite a luxury. I don't know about yours, but mine is not. Or you can also have a gorilla greeting you on your birthday. <gasps> Amazing. I think here we have to go to Uganda and spend 1,200 bucks to see a gorilla. But above all, International Space Station orbits around the Earth at every 90 minutes. In 24 hours, it has 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets. It takes around six hours to go to ISS from Earth to over there. Can anyone guess? This is the most expensive thing ever built. $120 billion. And what does it buy you? 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets. <laughs> but on top of that, it also has two bathrooms, one kitchen, a qu crew quarters for six, and more than 3,000 ground-breaking science experiments. Some of them are drug and protein crystallization, 3D painting in space, and uh, growing, food, growing food in microgravity through hydroponics and aeroponics. So over in time, I got more and more curious. What does it take? Oops, sorry. I think my hair. So over time, I got more and more curious on what does it take to design such a massive space architecture. And so I started to look for more and more opportunities. But I couldn't find many. I was unlucky. Why? Because to work at NASA, I had to have a US citizenship, which I did not have. Also, I don't have a PhD degree. And number three, there weren't enough opportunities available into this career because it was an emerging discipline. So, <laughs> I did any other same thing. I started my own space architectural studio, Aka Space Studio, which happens to be Canada's and Asia's first space architectural studio. But before I move on to that, I want lesson number two is there are always more than one way to climb to the top of the mountain. When there are no opportunities, create them and have courage. It's very important. So what exactly is Aka Space Studio? It is an evolving and emerging and a design, international design practice, a studio where we are designing, building, and testing small-scale analog prototypes for future space, lunar, and Mars missions. Let's have a look. And we are a team of diverse disciplines coming from together and finding a way to make it possible. Also, I'm so thankful and so grateful to have a wonderful, hardworking team at my studio. So the first video you're seeing, the dome shape, is a 3D printing Martian habitat that I, dis I presented at ICES conference, International Conference on Environmental Space System. And I'm going to share a secret. It was judged by astronaut Daniel Burbank, who, is, who has been to space two times. And the bottom one that you're seeing is a lunar habitat, an origami deployable structure. And the, the one on the left, it is a precedence of our NOAA project. So this is our main focus project right now. It's called NOAA, Next Generation Origami Analog Habitat. Amazing thing is that we're building it. Some facts about it. It can be launched in SpaceX SN15 Starship. It increases by 500% in volume when deployed. It only takes around 9 to 12 crew hours and only two people to deploy the whole structure. It is, equipped with, it is equipped with a lot of facilities. For example, it has an airlock. It has an EVA room to store the equipments. And then on top of that, it has sleeping waters, a storage, a medical lab, a 3D printing lab, and so on and so on. While we were building for this, we considered a lot of different materials, for example, Aluminum mylar, aerogel, kevlar, stainless steel, 
carbon fiber, and so and so. But this is not the main idea. The main idea is to build it. We are starting with the construction of this habitat in January 2022, and we are going on an expedition far away in the north of Canada, in the Arctic. And we are going to test our design with a crew of two, women and power men. I'm going to be one of the crew members staying inside the habitat. And we will be performing a lot of experiments, just like an astronaut does, will do on the Mars. We will be 3D printing for space, we will be having a virtual reality for the space, and then we will be having a lot of scientific soil sample testing study. So, during my whole career, for so many times I'm often asked that, why do we need to invest in space when there are so many problems here on the Earth? Let me tell you, when we explore space, we are able to explore more of our Earth. For example, Jupiter and Mars is said to be planets formed before the Earth. So when we try to understand those planetary formation, we are able to better understand our Earth's own formation. When we, if we did not have a solar panels in the International Space Station, we wouldn't have a better solar power system here on the Earth. In space, we have to recycle everything, from food to water to your perspiration. So for that, we have developed such an expensive, amazing technologies. And so here on Earth, it also helps us to recycle everything, for example, the gray water system. Let me tell you, there is so much coming in space. Space is a booming industry. And all of us has a role to play in. There are so many various professions, space biology, space marketing, space law, astrobiology, and so and so. I think for me is to continue the journey of space architecture. For you, it must be to become an astronaut or something else. But I am so very excited for all of us to have this vision and do something for our planet and in the universe. For our any goal in our life, we all have that small little inspiration inside ourselves, in our heart, in our soul, that always keeps us going forward. And mine is to test the human intelligence by going far and beyond, by pushing ourselves harder and address the fundamental question of our existence in this universe by going far and beyond and finding the pathway here in space architecture from almost impossible to nearly po to, to, to almost impossible to nearly possible. And so we must thrive and not just live. And who knows, one day, one of you might even end up buying a condo, my condo on Mars. Thank you very much. Happy Saturday.